Hey, what is up, the guys? This is Corbin, and it's time for some more shenanigans. Would you not? It's always time for some more shenanigans on this channel. Okay, man. Rhino Drop's gonna come down. This replay is actually submitted by Mr. Pump Maker over here, who's excitingly enough playing some fortified specialist, opening up with a mixed ish. La oh, hang on, we did not buy a single unit. We didn't buy a single unit, dude. We actually saved 100 supply. Crawlers, which are now all dead. Sledgehammer's already on the field. The Sledgehammer checks looking pretty saucy because, oh yes, that is going to become relevant as the game goes on, man. Pump maker, he's in the industry business, man. The factory business of the war variety. And it's going to be incredible as hell, man. I'm going to be very curious to see what um, techs we actually... We don't run range in our Sledgehammers? Pump. That's crazy as hell. That's nutty, man. Okay, let me go ahead and speed this up. As somebody's got it, somebody's rushed a turn one overlord. Dude, I love this lobby already. This is incredible. Okay, I don't love the fact that we are already wiped off of the map and look like we're gonna finish up. It's like second last in terms of Oh no, what the hell, dude? We got so much cash. I assume that we were like somewhere near the bottom. No, we are blue, dude. <laughs> okay, man. 371 supply, first round. Really good. The rhino drop actually paying off massively for us. Okay, let me skip ahead real quick. There it is. Okay. So green might have earned no money last round. But he did at least um it did at least able to was at least able to take the win on the round. Okay. It was unit drop. Sorry if you're skipping over that a bit too quickly, but we pick up the old saber tooth. Um I'm a little surprised I'm not just gonna sell this right away. Are we just gonna be rushing like an early war factory here? Is that the way that we're gonna do this? I guess we can't, even if we sell this, we can't afford, I don't think, to grab the war factory in the same round. At least not without, like, breaking the bank. We won't be able to, uh, blah. we won't be able to also afford efficient maintenance at the same time, which would be kind of rough. Little Phoenix pickup coming down. Okay, I'm liking what we're doing here, by the way. I'm noticing this. So we've got the sledgehammers on field already. I like that we're playing fortified specialists. We also just went ahead and unlocked phoenixes, which, nice, they do have a phoenix rebirth as well, ready to rock and roll. And so I guess we're just going to be buying all of the units that the War Factory can produce. And then just go from there. And just try and make... Dude, we, we ain't about mass producing units in this game, okay? This isn't like... It's not going to be like some Wish.com factory, okay? This thing is going to be like a goddamn Lamborghini factory, you know? This thing is going to be producing the creme de la creme of Mecha Bellum units, man. And so I'm guessing we're going to be picking up like a couple of checks and sledges, couple on the phoenixes, which are actually doing pretty good, by the way, over here on this right side. Picking up a reasonable amount of, oh, well, never mind, even trades. Um, and then that's it. We're just going to be producing like the Rolls Royce vehicles of Mechabellum, you know? I guess that's what it's going to be. Are these actually ours? No, they're not. These are Skynet. So our last surviving units are the three musketeers over here who hopefully can steal a kill on this. Oh my god, they might be able to do it. Do, do, do we do it? I don't think we did it. That's red, isn't it? I think red got up, man. Oh, for God's sake. I think he did. Okay, let me skip ahead real quick. Okay. Skynet takes the win with its phoenixes and stuff. Not much not much more to say. Okay. Wow, the AI is throwing three packs of wasps into our phoenixes and ground army. Dude, that's rough. Intensive training is general pumps. Oh, my God, bro. So we go for the war factory now. We sell the saber tooth. Now, surely efficient maintenance has to come out. There it is. Okay, dudes. The factory is on the field. I repeat, the factory is on the field. How much money does that leave us with? 300. Not bad. That's fine, man. So we could go ahead and pick up, like, Mech Rage here. Or we could unlock and buy one pack of Steel Balls and get ready for that. Maybe. Um, This is going to be a curious one, man. Mostly curious because... Let's just say we get to, like, round... Seven or something and then our opponents notice holy crap We've got like a rank four rank five war factory and it's producing all three unit types What do you actually do about that? What do you go to counter that you know? Because there's no specific counter to that you know you like you know what I'm saying because I mean it's such like a variety of units that are gonna be getting pumped out uh, It's kind it's hard to like pick out like, one or two units. that are gonna be able to deal with it uh, quite well other than Electromag Maxman, which frankly counter everything, you know. Okay. Let's speed along through this. I will take a quick look after this as well. I'll just maybe zoom out to see what everybody else is doing. Neighbor Green over here is going pretty heavy into the Overlords. He's actually got repairing Overlords over here. Which is a bit spook. Oh, for God's sake, the Wasps are just going to be attacking into this factory forever. 
Oh, it's going to take so long. Okay, I am actually just going to speed up this round, like, double speed. Uh, our neighbor on the left, Mr. Yellow, just getting eviscerated by the AI. Though he is going some sandworm action with multiple techs on this sandworm, actually. So Yellow is just going for a sandworm horde over here. So we have the sandworm horde. We have the overlord horde. And then we have the factory. Okay. I'm liking the way this is shaping up. Dude, this is why I end up casting so many more free-for-all games. I, I really want to cast more 1v1 games, to be honest. Um, I feel a little bit cheap just casting all the free-for-all games all the time, but they're so much more meme-worthy, you know? That's it. I'd like to just find some time to actually play the game myself over this weekend. That would be lovely, too. Like, oh my god. I get to play Mechabellum, like, once a week. Like, a Saturday is my day to actually get to play some Mechabellum. I made, like, no progress on the Battle Pass. It's bad, you know? I just don't, I just don't have time to play most of the time. My own fault. Never penned myself for a workaholic when I was a youngin', but there you go. Okay. Rhino Rush come down here. More upgrades on the goddamn overlords here. So really doubling down on that. I'm also going to apologize in advance as well. Oh my god, we did pick up range too. Okay, and we're starting to sell off the tanks over here now. But we haven't picked up any techs on the tanks. So I'm guessing we're going to tech up these tanks before we sell them. Um, I should apologize in advance if there's any, like, uh, weird outcomes in this replay. I'm recording this after a, a huge balance patch went live. And expired, like, all of the replays. So I'm really hoping that something doesn't break here. Uh, as we spectating this, but... Okay, man, this is a great opportunity to just farm up some free experience. We do also have intensive training ready to rock and roll uh, that we have been using on this sucker, I think. But it's ideal if we can pick up just at least one level on the guy uh, and not have to use the intensive training, which would be really, really inefficient if we had to use it right now. Let's go ahead and hurry this along. Does killing these towers give experience? I'm going to find out just now. Just not. Doesn't give a single dime of experience, man. Doesn't give us a stinky of experience. So we need some actual units to kill. Oh my god, this phoenix didn't do his job against the bloody wraith, man. It's 2% health. Oh, that just sucks. Well, we're just trucking along, man. We're doing great. Ah, uh, did we steal the worm kill? We got the assist kill. Okay, good. So we secured the level 3. That's by far the most important thing. Oh my god, we actually just kill almost everything. Okay, we did great, man. We did great. We did great. 564 pennies earned. Very, very nice indeed. We can't really ask for more than that. Okay. So that should be two levels, right? We could have got up to level four already. What round is it? Five? It's round five. Typhoons come out. I can only imagine that these are going to get sold off pretty quickly. Oh, wow. We're already going into the sledgehammer production. 800 supply to burn. So I'm guessing we're going to go, like, what? Mech Rage and Armor here? Feels the most likely. Well, there goes one of the Typhoons. As was written. Dude, how expensive is it for us to buy a tech now in these war factories? It's already up to nearly 900 supply. For all of the techs. We're going to drop all kinds of missiles. We still have nearly 900 supply to go here, though. We're quite surprised we didn't buy any techs this round. Oh my god! We're going to steelboard production first? That's quite surprising. That is quite surprising. We also didn't level up the war factory too. Ooh. Okay, well, I mean, there's just no way in hell that this hacker's gonna get the steel on us. It's already gone. So we're doing great. I mean, the factory's looking pretty safe. It's looking pretty good. Not bad. We're going to get to pick up both the towers again. We also managed to rhino the middle tower, too. There's no way in hell we don't get this, right? Oh my god, the sandworms are going for it. Okay, good. We got it, we got it, we got it. That's another 550 supply ready to rock and roll. We've got some big boy worms to take down, which now have three techs, by the way. Dude, this lobby is insane. Can I just say? Does this have range? Does not, okay. So we should also be fine against this melter. No problem, really. Very good. Oh, but it's all just wasted experience, though, man. This feels bad. I really thought that we would have leveled uh, last round. We're going to have to put our foot on the gas in that front. Okay. All right. Last melting point gets to connect. Oh, my God. It almost gets us dead, but it's all good. We take the win. Okay. 
surely now multiple levels are going to go down. They just have to. They just have to. We can't wait no more. Master Chief. I love this guy spelling out his name, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Nobody tell him, man. Nobody tell him. Okay, so it's a skip. It's a double level on the factory. Just like that, we're up to nearly 700,000 health on this uh, fortified specialist war factory. Looking pretty saucy. Okay, man. Very cool. Oh, my God. What? We're going to damage sharing first? Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. The mech division on the steel balls is great. That's obviously fantastic. Uh, but wow, man, the damage sharing on the sledges? That feels like that could be like as much of a like a like a malice as a, as a boon, you know? But alright, man. Alright. Yeah, I would have really expected the armor just because um like while these are lower level sledgehammers, I feel like the armor just offers a bit more value than the cell feel. Because you're getting one shot a lot more uh, a lot more often. On low level sledges. So the healing just tends to not matter that much. Dude, look at this thing, man. It's gonna two tap the two big experimental units right away. Okay, very lovely. I think we can just go ahead and speed this along once again. If we get all of the buildings, that's a huge, huge win. Uh, this is actually AI units coming to take out our buildings over here now. Not gonna matter. We gotta pick up all. Dude, all of the money. Come on, easy game. There it is. Very nice. Is that another level? Of course it is. It's already up to a potential rank five next round. Dude, this thing has just become a, it's just, it's just, it's a demon. Oh, this is sweet, man. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen an actual max level war factory in a free-for-all before. I don't think I've ever actually seen it happen. Look at the goddamn damage sharing tanks, dude. Oh, God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't actually have the numbers to get this done against this healing melting point, dude. Okay, that's some pretty heads-up uh, action from Red. He knows what he's up against. He knows his foe. Knows his enemy. There's a lot of small worms popping out over here. Yeah, the sandworms from Yellow are scaling up a lot as well. Our factory is going to have quite a lot to do, to be honest. To sort of keep up with this. I'll skip ahead for now. It's just Red's uh, suckers over here waiting to die. And die screaming they shall. There it is. Look how many little worms actually live, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Back to the factory, man. Back to the factory. We should be going up to like a rank 6 this round, right? Surely. Do we have intensive training ready again? Option selection. I see unit drop round. Okay, so it doesn't matter what we go here. Just getting sold, right? Fortress comes down. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't sticking round, man. That puts us up to 2,500 supply. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Now we pick up the Phoenix production. Just go straight elite maxman on the Phoenix. I can respect that at this case, because we're producing probably rank 5 Phoenixes here, right? There's no way that we don't upgrade this. Just no way. I don't think we have intensive training ready this round to use again. I think it's still on cooldown, right? A little bit of building health over here. Very lovely. I'll tell you what, though. I'll be vastly concerned if we don't upgrade this. We're spending a lot of money here on just stuff. Without having upgraded the factory yet. There's only 300 supply left. Oh, we actually not going to upgrade it? Oh my god, we didn't upgrade the factory? Pompey. I'm very, very surprised at that. We had a lot of cash to play with that round. Spent a lot. None of it was spent on the factory, though. Ooh. And now it's time to just get utterly mauled. By two enormous sandworms. We're not going to get to hit anything here, are we? Yeah. We kind of didn't do anything at all that round. <laughs> Not that I think the levels of the factory would have really helped out all that much. Let's be real, man. Don't think it would have done nothing but a smidgen of anything, really. Okay. How's everybody else doing? Yellow sandworms are still picking up some speed, but they got their work cut out for them in this round. They're just going to kind of gallivant over to kill these buildings again. Okay, I think we're pretty much fine to skip ahead. This is going to be the Sandworms versus Red's Giants. Uh, pretty much, I think. And it is, of course, going to be Yellow's Worms. That take the win here. Just absolutely mauling the hell out of that poo poo melting point. Okay. Speed things up. Some AI nerds about to go down. One more tower, and that's going to be all she wrote, man. I think we're actually going to drop our lead here quite substantially. Okay, man. 
All right. We've got a lot of leveling to do here, man. At this early stage. There's the upgrade. There's the second upgrade coming out. Okay, man. So we're still going to make pretty good time with this. The range comes out on the phoenixes. Mech rage on the tanks. Very nice, man. That's all of the key upgrades, really. That's like the bare minimum. I don't know what the damage Sheridan is doing there. I'll admit, man, I'm going to just... It's going to trust in general pump. When it comes to what the sledgehammers are doing with damage Sharon. I mean, look. Dude, this... this, this it, both of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> the one level one steel bolts kills off a whole pack of tanks, man. Oh, God. That's just like a microcosm of my concern with going that tech. Uh, on the sledges at this stage, but... Okay, man, this thing's looking monstrous, dude. It's already at over a million health at a rank 6. It's looking pretty saucy, man. It's looking pretty good. Also, the phoenixes have crazy damage. Look at this rank 6 phoenix. That just got... Dude, look at this. 41,000 damage per shot on these rank 6 phoenixes coming out. They actually one-shot easily, these overlords. Almost one-shot the level 2 overlords. Just insane. These are also armored and self-healing overlords as well, by the way. So they actually have that, like, increased health too. Ooh. We've been latched, boys. Phoenixes, take care of it. Oh. Oh, they're not taking care of it. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna be good, right? Okay, yeah, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Things we just a little, just a little bit... A little bit of a butt nipper there, but we made it through. And it is quite crucial that we're winning these rounds now, man, because yellow is sneaking ahead a little bit. Looks like we're going to start to drop our buildings to the pesky backstab and sandworms. Speed this along. Oh my god, can we get it down? It's going to heal the full, man. And these sandworms do have anti-air as well. It's a rank 6 self-healing sandworm, by the way. Oh, as it pecks the phoenixes out of the sky, it's going to heal up just a little bit more. It will eventually drop. Okay, man, I don't know what level these guys are underground. Try and click them. I think there's just one big one in there, and a lot of small guys, and it's just level one. We should be good, we should be good. Factory can't make its mind up, so it just parks. It just doesn't know what to do. Look at this. What the hell is that? I've never seen a unit to stop moving like that before, man. Usually, the, like, your units move towards the submerged units. Sort of like, no matter what, but... Okay. We wriggle back the lead, man. We wriggle back the lead. What we got here, man? We got another level available on the factory. We got to know that that's going to come down. The wasps come out. You know, I, I wouldn't be. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say I wouldn't be opposed to just keeping the wasps. These are rank five, man. Just get them elite maximum in range. You know, one here, one here, just to kind of fly in behind, take care of these nerds, and maybe offer us some protection against just the uh, the spam of overlords coming out on this right side. Which wow, man! By the way, how deeply were overlords nerfed? In the recent patch, man. Like, launcher artillery? Overlord artillery? Wow, man. Gutted. Gutted, dude. Now it's just like a way overpriced tech. I still think it's a good tech, by the way. I don't want to crap on it too much. I still actually think it's a pretty good tech. If it costs like 250 or something. 200 or 250 Like, right now it's just overpriced like crazy. Um, I mean, we can actually see right here, right? No, we can't. Because he's already purchased it. Q. Okay, man. Anyways, War Factory hits a good old level 7. It's looking pretty good. No more techs coming out on the steel balls or anything just yet. But here we go, man. We have... Oh, God. It's going to die a horrible, painful death. It's going to die screaming. Oh, it's, just, it's becoming the sun. Okay, not good. Not great, man. Not great. This doesn't have the rate of fire to take out this many mass-produced units. Just getting spewed out. Of these experimental wraiths. I'm not sure anybody can actually kill these experimental wraiths this round. I think they might just kill everything. Do these overlords stand a chance? They're just going to get too distracted. They have a lot of self-healing, a lot of armor. Don't think that's going to be quite enough to keep them alive against these double wraiths. Yeah, they're going to start to drop. Once one drops, they drop twice as fast. Okay. Yeah, the experimental wraiths, dude, honestly, probably the most overpowered of the experimental units, I feel, uh, by quite a bit. Unless you've got, like, an army that's specifically built to be, like, anti-air. They're so, so rough to take down, man. Okay. Guess we just spectate the carnage here just a little bit. This self-healing melting point is putting up a very, very impressive fight, but this is too many steel balls 
for it to possibly out heal. And so Skynet wins convincingly in the end. Okay. Oh, wow. Is this the final round? This is actually the final round just now, man. Ooh. Ooh okay. Okay. That's more like it. Just for context of what just happened, you might have noticed a little cut in the video just now. I just reloaded round 10, and it does turn out that this is what the score should look like. The replay is just a little bit corrupted, a little bit expired. And so just by like reloading the round, we now have a rank 7 factory that's ready to level up. And I guess it's going to go to max level this round. Oh my god. Okay, something big's fit to happen, man. Oh my god! Okay, dude, I was expecting, like, a lot more text to come out on these guys, you know? Okay, dude. Yeah, I was expecting, like, Launcher Overload, uh, Quantum Reassembly Phoenixes or something. Okay, we do actually go for the Quantum Reassembly. We still have a thousand supply, you know? We could still go Launcher Overload on these guys as well. The triple drop on the War Factories, man. And then the max level Giga Chad War Factory in the middle. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I mean, this is crazy. This is just nuts. And we're just going to try and... Dude, look at this. Look at how different the board looks after reloading the round. Man, Green is just suddenly the guy who's winning. <laughs> I guess he was abusing the hell out of the overpowered Overlord artillery. But now that I've, um, now that I've like, reloaded the lobby with the nerfed version of Overlord artillery, like, he would have been doing really, really bad. But now we've reloaded the lobby, his uh, skulls reflect the old patch, you know? I don't know, strange situation to be in. Either way, man, we got a little bit of Scooby-Doo action going on right now, just from our beloved worm friend uh, over here on our far left, who we're going to be bum-rushing a little bit. And now we've just got quadruple units being pushed, but most impressively is the rank 9 factory just pushing out teched up max level units. Phoenixes, tanks, look at these little steel balls, dude. Look at the paint job. Oh, it's incredible, man. Absolutely beautiful. Dudes. Oh, this is so good, man. This is so good. Okay, I thought it was just going to be like a... Like, a, like, a, like what did I call it again? Screw it. Just like a Jaguar factory or whatever. But we do have a little bit of Wish.com factories here on the side as well. But just look at the stream. Look at the stream of units. And look at the range difference for the high-level Phoenixes compared to the low-level Phoenixes. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of the ranks and elite maxman, you know? Huge old worm on the ground, not gonna last very long as all of the steel balls do get to connect as well, which is just grand. We will eventually lose buildings over here, but it's so, so far away. Uh, in terms of when that's gonna happen, that's just not gonna matter. In fact, most of the army turns around briefly just to shut the uh, crawlers down over here. We're gonna get the backstab on Yellow's buildings just now, but it's not gonna matter so much. His worms are still gonna be quite a threatening blob of their forest to deal with, but... Dude, look at this stream of units, man. It's like the Riders of Rohan coming in from the west. And here we go, dudes. Look at all these damn overlords. Not gonna stand a hope in hell, right? This is too much fun. Oh, these are all like the low-level phoenixes at the front and then just the generals at the back. Oh, it just, it just looks glorious. And you can tell when the high rank ones are the ones shooting because the overlords just actually get deleted from like half HP. Look at the damage-sharing tanks over here, dude. It's just a web... <laughs> <laughs> just a web of tanks, bro. And the amount of points we are fit to get just now from taking a win this round. Oh. Oh my god, dude. More than enough to go ahead and just catapult, uh, catapult ourselves into first place. Okay. Sorry about that little bit of a like glitchiness, I guess, in this replay in terms of how like the scores were landing and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just a quick reload at the end. Fixed us at least for this climactic last round. Oh my god, dude. Glorious as hell. But alright, man. Apologies to all of the replays that I missed in lieu of the recent patch coming in and just expiring uh, a lot of the replays. Not a whole lot I can do about that, but, you know, sucks all the same. So do keep your replays coming, man. If you've got a crazy game of your own, similar to good old Pomp's replay right here, then make sure to share it in the official Mechabellum Discord in the Share Your Replay channel of that Discord, which, as always, is linked down below. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. And now I'm gonna catch all of y'all just a tad bit later, man.